we are the state's natural history museum and so we're really charged with uh, collecting preserving and interpreting our state's natural history we are really excited to show that off um, in our brand new facility and get people excited about science and the process of science tell me about kind of the undertaking of moving the museum here it has been a years in the making process, involved a lot of development and planning, both in terms of the design of the building as well as the design of our exhibits. Um, the move of the dioramas themselves was a really big thing, a painstaking process, as well as the restoration. So visitors will be able to see, they just pop with color because of the exquisite work that our team did to restore the paintings and the taxidermy itself. And then we have all kinds of new stuff, like this giant woolly mammoth behind me, which is so exciting. This is a huge new addition to the museum. It is. This is the first new diorama in the museum in decades, and it's one that uh, visitors can walk around and experience. Behind the woolly mammoth, there's actually a couple other animals. So there's a giant beaver, as well as a muskox. These are animals that also lived during uh, the Ice Age time in, in Minnesota. Yeah, tell me about the planetarium. Yeah, so it's one of a kind. It is a seamless dome, which means that a visitor sitting in the seat will really be immersed in the stars and the universe. And then what's even more exciting is to go kind of put yourself on another planet and then look at the stars and go all the way to the edges of the known universe. Yeah, our Touch and See Lab is something that the Bell Museum innovated 50 years ago in collaboration with the College of Education here at the University of Minnesota. She'll wrap herself around. Okay, hang on. <laughs> okay, now I feel a little more comfortable. It just took me a second to get used to it. But this is neat. So what would people learn from holding a snake? Just kind of how they move and... Yeah, the most common thing I hear is, oh, it's not slippery. No. Look, ooh, or look slimy, at that. I guess is the word. Give me a little hug. <laughs> Now, you shouldn't use animals as accessories, but that is a beautiful accessory for it your arm. It was. <laughs> it's a milk snake, and it was yeah. very nice. And there are other snakes and animals and turtles that you can see in there, as well as artifacts that you can play with. So you awesome. really neat things to learn. I'm really bummed I couldn't make it yesterday for that story, so I'll have to go on my own. You would have really enjoyed it for so many reasons. There, yeah. You will have to make it there. This is the fifth location for the museum since opening in 1872. It took one year to build and one year to fill it. All right. The Bell Museum opens at 9 today. There are special events outside and inside with the price of admission.